it's been illegal to hunt the crayfish for more than 20 years, but poachers still target them to this day. It will take generations for the slow-growing crayfish to recover, but Todd is determined to give them the best chance possible. Part of the deal is I don't let anybody know where we're going, and uh, to be honest, I'm lost anyway. I genuinely have no idea where we are, but to make sure that nobody possibly has a look at the background and from that works out where we are, I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn this off. This is it. This is where we'll be looking. So, uh, wader up? Yeah, we'll need waders. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty wet pretty quick. Yeah. And I'd suggest that that water's pretty cold. It's strange not to be gearing up with my rod and line, and I feel somewhat lost without it. These tangles of fallen trees provide a vast labyrinth where crayfish can hide. 40 centimetres of depth here, and you can't see. You've got zero visibility before you start. These log jams are always good. Pretty shallow there. Under that log there. You see they've just got massive areas to hide. They don't need to be in the water. They'll sit under the undercuts. Yep. And so... This goes on forever, doesn't it? It's ankle-deep water. You'd imagine it's shooting fish in a barrel, but you look more closely, there's undercut banks, there's... Uh, there's a lot of places, actually, that you can't get to. And the chances are we've walked past some. Um, yeah, we've just got to give it more time. We move to a stretch of water further downstream. It's getting a bit deeper here. Volcanic soil turns the water an eerie red. This low visibility and the sun's glare make it even more difficult to spot anything lurking beneath the surface. Actually, Jeremy? Is that one there? Yeah, just facing you. I can see the claw. The heads heads this way. Going backwards. Finally, after days of searching, I get my first glimpse of the largest and most powerful freshwater invertebrate on the planet. All I have to do is grab it. Get your hand behind the tail and slide up towards the head. Then they can't get their claws back and, and grab hold of you. She's facing towards that bank. Can you see her OK? <laughs> Not very well. God, I don't want to grab it in the wrong place, though, do I? If I get this wrong, my hand could be crushed. You see facing downstream now? Downstream? Yep. That way? Yep. Yeah. There he is. I've caught crayfish before, but nothing like this. This is what's that, a couple of pounds? Yeah, I'd say two pounds. And the biggest one you've seen? Uh, 10, 11 pounds. So. <laughs> She's about one fifth the size. Right. And is this one going to hurt if I did? Uh, probably take your finger off. Seriously? Yep. One this size? Yep. Wow. If this could remove a finger, I shudder to think what an even bigger one could do. I see and she's a female. So she's got a crop of eggs under the tail, and you can see there. Oh, yeah. So she probably have uh, 500 to 1,000. Wow. Then Todd checks to see if she's been caught and tagged before. Right, let's take it to the bank and uh, process her. OK. And put it back in the water. Good start. Amazing start. Really good. So she's a new one. And how old would, would she be? Uh, I'll measure her. And she is six and a half inches. So she'd be about 21, 22 years. And has, has until today, evaded capture by yeah. you. So that's that's encouraging, isn't it? Yeah. So is the next thing you're going to tag this one, are you? Put a, yep, put I'll a put a chip in her and um, put her back. 
Each microchip tag contains a unique ID, which enables Todd to estimate crayfish numbers and growth rates. You are free to go. I've seen my first giant crayfish, and uh, that is still sinking in. And the incredible thing is, the more incredible thing is, that wasn't even a big one. That was a medium-sized one, uh, which means they get even bigger. And I can't resist the opportunity to get my hands on a full-sized adult. Todd says, if we follow the main river, I might get my chance. On that. It doesn't look it doesn't look like wood. Yep, unbelievable. That's actually a nice one. That's a good size. Getting it out won't be so easy. You can see it's going back into that hollow log. Most of it is hidden, but I can already see it's big. Do you think go un underneath that, this branch here, or, or go, go over the I'd go over the top. Over the top? No, straight under the top of its head. Oh, He's hey, just gone back. Gone yeah. back in. Gone back in. God, I don't want to grab it in the wrong place. I've got it. I've got to get it out now. Hold on. There we go. Yes. Yes. Who would have thought you'd need two hands to hold a crayfish? This one is enormous, and there's no way I'd want to tangle with these claws. It's one of the largest Todd has ever seen. He estimates it must be nearly 50 years old. This one is a male. Two big differences, the lack of eggs under the abdomen, but also the size of those claws, those pincers. Uh, absolutely formidable on this. It's one of the most incredible creatures I have ever held. It's a bit alien-like, and I can hear its mouth parts moving. Never seen anything like it in fresh water. What a spectacular find. <laughs> 